I'm Rivka Sass, and I'm the director of Libraries for Sacramento. So that's all 28 locations of your Sacramento Public Library. We're really happy that you came tonight. This is, a, this is such an important event from our perspective, getting people here and going through our ballots, um, understanding what they mean, what the initiatives mean. We're really thrilled about that. So with no further ado on my part, I would like to invite um, Dr. Robert Nelson, president of uh, California State University, Sacramento, up here. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I look out and I wished I saw a lot more people because this is important. Uh, voting is important. Making a difference is important. Having an electorate that knows what is happening is critical. It's critical for my 31,191 students. They need your support and they should be here tonight and they should be part of this. I am very proud that we have at Sac State Pi, as I'm learning it's called. I'm not used to California yet, it's three years, but everything's an acronym, right? But the publicly informed electorate, think about that, okay? Think about how important that is that's here. Think about the partnership tonight with the library. Where do we go to learn? We go to libraries. And think about having the opportunity to work with the legislative analyst's office to actually get drill down and get to know the bills and get to know the measures and get to know everything that there's there. It's a wonderful opportunity. So Kim Nalder, I wanna thank you for arranging this. I wanna thank you for everything you do to get out the vote every year. And let's all of us work hard, partner up, and make sure that we are successful and that we lead this nation and this country and this region and this city towards a bright future, a future where everybody has a chance, where everyone can succeed, a future that's inclusive, a future where Sacramento is the true leader in this nation. So thank you everybody and a big stingers up to everybody out there. All right, so thank you so much for coming tonight. Um, we do have a few things that we handed out. We have a pre and post survey, if you do the front and back of the first page and then and the second page, and then we'll come around and collect those in a few minutes, and then save the yellow one for after the event. That'd be great. Uh, I wanted to thank some people who have contributed to Pi, to all of the efforts that we're making around the election season. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do events like this. And also let everyone know who's here that this event w is being recorded and we're going to have videos available, segmented per initiative, streaming on the website in about a week. And so you can share those with your friends and family and people who couldn't make it tonight. So it looks like that's probably where most people are going to get this information is uh, that way. I also wanted to point out some events that are coming up uh, that we're putting on this season. We, uh, next week, we have an event on confronting myths about homelessness. So we have some researchers from Sacramento State who have been looking into homelessness, doing the count for the county, and they're, they're going to present information and data about what actually goes on with homelessness. That event and, and another one, or several, are at our new downtown location. So Sacramento State now has a downtown location at 3rd and S that's open. And so these are some of the first few sort of big events that we'll be having there. So please spread the word and, and, and have people show up. That'd be fantastic. So we have the homelessness event that's next week on the 9th uh, at 6.30 at the downtown location. And then we have a Me Too, which, you know, kind of relevant at this particular point in our history. Uh, Me Too in California. We have political reporters, staffers, candidates, political scientists, all discussing what it means in California for the Me Too movement. And then we have a fake news toolbox, sort of how to prepare yourself to combat fake news, which is taking place on campus at 1.30 on October 24th. 
And then after the election, a week after the election, we're having a elec post-election post-mortem, sort of what happened with the election, what does it mean for the future, what does it mean for California sort of thing. And that's also at the downtown location at 6 p.m. So with, uh, if you want this information, we have cards on the front table if you want to grab those on the way out with this whole schedule on it. The way we're going to proceed tonight is per initiative. So what we have here is the the analysts from the Legislative Analyst's Office who have done a nonpartisan analysis of these measures and they will present essentially what the measure does and explain the fiscal impacts and so forth. Then I will follow up with information about endorsements and spending on the measures and then we'll open it up to questions. So if you have a question, there's a microphone right, right here, we would ask that you do go to the microphone so that we can get your voice on the tape, because we're, most, of, most people, again, will be seeing this online. And we'll, we'll go per initiative, it'll be about seven minutes each. We don't want to keep people here all night. It's sort of lightning round. So, so these people have the toughest job, right? They have to describe the whole thing in about four minutes-ish. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 